y'all. Scooter here testing out the Emporia Pro Level 2 EV Charger, which I recently installed in my home to help boost my charge rates. This system comes in black or white and can be hardwired or plug and play with a NEMA 1450 option, which is what I went with since I already have a 240 volt plug installed in my garage. The unboxing was relatively simple. You have your Emporia Pro with a 25 foot cable and a J1772 plug, plus a holster to hold the plug when it's not on your EV. Here's the full haul before installation. The charger itself came with its Walmont bracket attached, which I unscrewed to pre-fit on my garage wall. I had some molding in the way, so I had to do a bit of a custom job with some plywood to fill that gap. First I measured where I wanted the level 2 charger hung, then cut out a piece to serve as the backing. Measure twice and cut once for the perfect fit. After securing the plywood directly into the wall, the Emporia charger's bracket was able to sit flush, so I screwed it in with the included hardware, then hung the charger up before re-securing it with the bracket screws. With the NEMA plug, my version of the Emporia Pro simply plugged in and it was ready to start charging immediately. To complete the full charger setup, I also installed the included cable holster, which enables the access cable to be strung around the plug itself. It merely took a few wall anchors and some screws. Quick work. Here's the fully installed Emporia Pro charger on my wall. Next, it was time to plug it in and test it out on my Rivian. I was previously using the charger cable that Rivian gave me and was only garnering about 1.3 kilowatts on a 120 volt plug and about 7.2 kilowatts on my 240 volt plug. From the first charge, the Emporia Pro was significantly faster, averaging a charge rate of 9.4 kilowatts using the same electrical configuration. Who doesn't love faster charging? Another feature on the Emporia Pro Charger is that it comes with the company's View Home Energy Monitor, which tracks your home's energy consumption in real time and could help reduce it. It could also be set to use certain devices when it's cheapest. This part of the installation was much more daunting for me as I am not as confident in electrical work. As you can see, there were several electrical components and because the view is so versatile amongst homes with dozens of setups, including those with solar, Emporia's installation instructions were complex and confusing, at least at first. I was able to get in touch with an installation expert at Emporia, shout out to Ben, who took a look at the picture of my panel and told me exactly what configuration to use and where to install each colored wire. From there, things were quite easy, and I had the View Home Energy Monitor wired and connected to my Wi-Fi in no time. Once everything was wired, it was as easy as connecting the plugs to the view monitor itself. Here's my completed wiring configuration. Not bad for an amateur. After that, it was as simple as finding the device in the Emporia app and selecting it. Here you could see the energy usage in real time as my Rivian was charging. Overall, the Emporia Pro EV Charger is a plug-and-play setup that can easily boost your charging speeds on your existing power panel. Installation is a breeze if you have the NEMA plug already, but the home monitor system is much more complex depending on your wiring configuration. If you'd like to see how you can increase your home charging speeds, be sure to use the link to the Emporia Pro in the description below.